How's it going, everybody? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. So, I got some pretty bad news here, guys. Once again, this game decided to uh, give me a game-breaking bug, and you can see my connector here. Well, this was underground when I respawned in, so I decided, you know, I would just dig it out and see it there. But to my surprise, it was actually totally gone. Now, when I do try and expand out this connector, well, I'll show you guys just because some of you probably won't believe me, but it actually immediately crashes my game. Now, that's pretty damn bad. That means we can't expand our base here. So yeah, that seriously means I cannot expand this base out anymore. Now, if I had a 3D printer already, I would be able to print a habitat and just put one close by, but... Unfortunately, I did not make one of those yet, and, well, you saw what happens when I try and expand out my base. So now I'm kind of at the point where I don't know what to do. I think my best option is to once again take off and look for a different planet. I know a lot of people are going to be mad about that because we spent so much time working on here, but as you can see, the ground is starting to deform once again. Just the glitches in this game, I mean, it's an early access title, it's to be expected, but the glitches in this game are really, really frustrating. So today, once again, I think we're gonna go look for some new land. Now, I don't have too much fuel in this thing. I'm hoping it's enough to get to another planet. If not, we can choose another location on this planet, at least. And I think I'm seeing something under here, guys. I think I got a sneaky suspicion. Don't tell me that right below us was a huge-ass compound node. I swear I could see it. Holy fucking shit. Look at this. Yeah, this is uh to the point where... I wouldn't even be able to play even if I wanted to, but yes, below me, you can see another coal node over here. At least with the ground deforming, I can kind of get a sneak peek at what's underneath us. But yeah, there's a compound node over here. Doesn't matter, we're gonna get out of here once again and try and find a new planet. At least I hope I can do that. If I just have to go to a different area of this planet, at least that will be good and we won't have a broken base. All right, we're gonna move the correct way this time. So I wanna build a trade platform right away. So I'm gonna get all the resources I need to do that. And to do that, we need two aluminum. aluminum. So I have ladder right here and I'm just going to quickly do this. And I also got all the resin I need. I think it takes three resin to make your first platform. So I got all the resin I need to at least do that. Now we're going to have to find a lot more resin, a lot more compounds to expand this thing out. And hopefully we can get a bit more lucky this time. But if we don't get lucky, at least we have this trade platform to trade for it. So now we have all the resin we need. I also got my extra battery pack on here and two aluminum. That is all we need for the trade module. Now I do also want to possibly get the fuel module. That way we can make fuel and get the hell off this planet if we want to. Now the fuel module requires copper and I don't think, if I remember correctly, we had a hard time finding copper so we definitely shouldn't have any in here. Uh, so that's something I'm gonna get beforehand too. We should have enough spots It's going to take two copper so I can take off this battery if I want to and have all the copper I need to get the fuel module as well All right, so I'm gonna try and trade for copper I can hear a storm coming in I can get four copper for this trade alone and that's gonna be great But before we uh, have a problem here, I just want to make sure all my resources are good These are the resources I'm gonna be bringing with me uh, and I just want to make sure they're okay. But now we have enough copper as well to make the fuel condenser. And that means we can make fuel if we want to actually leave this planet. And we can also trade for whatever we need. Now that is going to be huge. If I even stay on this planet, it's not going to be too hard for us to expand pretty quickly. But honestly, now that I've been on this planet for a few hours, I kind of want to get off of it. It's beautiful. It's got lots of rare resources, but it's also got lots of these things. Storms. Making my progression pretty much halt to a stop every five minutes or so. It de definitely does get annoying. And I, if I had more time here, I was planning on building an actual moat around my place so it wouldn't really affect me. Uh, but we had this issue that we ran into as well. So I think my best bet is to get out of here and just not try and deal with the glitchy issues that we've been ha having. All right, but that storm actually passed us. It didn't even seem to hit us. So I'm just going to go out and uh, not waste any time here. So... Now I can get my four copper. That's going to give me the fuel condenser uh, right away, which is huge. So let's go yield that four copper. Hopefully I have enough. Yeah, I do have enough charge. So there we go. All right. Can't forget my solar panels either. We can store two of these. So it really isn't too bad. I mean, obviously it sucks to move so quickly. I wanted to, you know, make a huge base here. But we really didn't expand too much. We had such a hard time looking for the resources needed that I spent so much time doing that. So we're not going to waste too much time here. And now that I'm planning out... How I want to expand my next base, 
uh, we should be able to do it really, really quickly. The only thing I'm gonna need is a little bit of resin to expand the two platforms, and we should hopefully be able to find that when we do get there. But if we don't, at least I have the trade platform to trade for it. So we got two copper as well, we'll put that in the bottom, and that should be a full inventory. Alright, well that's all I can unfortunately take, so let's just get out of here and uh, go find another world, shall we? At least I hope I can. Please tell me I can get inside this thing. Did I break it? Okay, there we go. And I don't know how much gas I have, so... Oh, fuck! Alright, well that puts a halt to our plans for today. I have to go find fuel now. Now, I have been told exotic planets should have a decent amount of fuel, so we're going to do that really quickly. The first suggestion was to dig down, but I'm actually going to use the glitches that I'm dealing with to my advantage and uh, try and do a little pixie through the ground here and see if we can see anything. I'm not going to let this win. I am definitely going to move today. So we do have a, looks like a different cave system down there. There's a lot of coal. So you know what? Let's dig. I love how I can actually see it from here, but let's dig this way and go down to there. All right, I didn't expect to be doing this today. This is kind of interesting. I should probably go make tethers now that I think about it. I don't want to get lost in here. All right, back to my interdimensional cave here. This is really freaking trippy. I'm just seeing... Okay, I'm definitely going to hit that cave system, and I also got enough um, compounds for tethers now, so let's make a few of these and not get lost, shall we? All right, down we go. Uh, we might get trapped in here, but at least we have a tether system. We should be okay, so... Let's just keep digging. There's the cave right there. Now I'm praying that we're lucky enough to have something in this cave. I doubt it's going to be that easy, but you know what? This is going to be a start at least. And this is kind of fun. We haven't really explored any deep caves too much yet, so I'm kind of excited about that. This one might not be too deep yet, uh, so we might need to find a better one, but good start at least. All right, I don't think this cave is going to have much of anything in it. It doesn't look like there's any resources. I did see some coal in the ground, so I might try and dig that out and see what we can find underneath it. But, oh, I, I feel like I've been here. That's the problem, but you know what? I don't think I have. All right, not sure why this didn't click in my head, but I can literally just trade for fuel. I mean, we have all the rare resources we can want on this planet, so I may as well just trade for it. I don't know why it's not clicking into my head. If I don't have something, just trade for it. So we dug down and couldn't really find anything. I was told it should be easy to find it anyway, so I thought I was going to do it regardless. But obviously, not that easy. And now we're back into uh, storm-infested territory. I definitely want to get off this planet now. Like, this is just dealing with these storms. It's the worst. <laughs> So I did gather a bit of that coal from the coal node over there, and we're going to try and trade for this. We also do got some copper here that we can get rid of, so let's do that really quickly here and see how much fuel we can get. We may as well try and fill it up if it's easy. All right, and as simple as that, we get a yield of six hydrazine, so I don't know why I didn't think of this. This is so good. I'm so glad I at least made the trade platform so I can't get totally stuck on here. Uh, so yeah, we may as well fill this thing up and just trade and, you know, get a perfect shuttle once again. Alright, and it's back and we got lots of fuel now. I actually forget how much it took to fill it, but you know what? This shouldn't be too bad now. I'm just worried, is my thing so glitched that I cannot get off this land? We're gonna find out pretty soon here. This might actually be, be close to filling it. Oh my god, I'm so glad that I got this trade post. This makes it, this makes life easier. Alright, I think this is actually gonna fill it, guys, so I'm kinda glad we figured this out. And before we left, we actually filled this thing. Yes, it's totally filled. Uh, we actually got some bit of one still on here filled, so this should be good. All right, well, I was really pissed off for a second there, thinking we would be stuck here for a while, but it's looking like that is not the case at all. Now, where did I put all my good resources? Here they are. We got resin, we got the copper, we got the, I believe it was aluminum. Everything we need to have a perfect base at wherever we decide to go. And here we are once again, guys, in space. Now, at least we know if we do want to come back here, we can. And I'm going to come back here probably when the game gets fixed. For right now, though, fuck that exotic planet. Uh, what the fuck? What? What is going on? Oh, no, I didn't want to go there. I was just... I, I meant to click on it. God damn it. Okay, well, let's go check out whatever the fuck this is. Whoa, we went right through the planet. Oh, there it is. I think this is kind of like a moon. This is a very pretty planet, though. All right, I do want to go back, though, and look at what we got. So, yeah, this is a tundra planet. Gonna say that's probably not the best idea. I believe... Was this our first planet? I actually forget. There's only so many planets in the system here. So, we can't be too picky, and I'm almost certain that was the first planet. So, 
You know what? Doing the tundra might be a good idea. What is this one, though? This is an arid planet, so that, that's going to be difficult to survive on. So the exotic planet is tempting. The Turan planet is uh, obviously another choice that we can do. Go back to the basic planets. Uh, I believe this one is kind of like a molten one. I'm going to wait for this one to come in just to check it. My goal, regardless, is to at least get one base on every planet. That's not, you know, totally unrealistic considering there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, five planets in one moon to go on, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, just waiting. I'm actually, you know, kind of considering doing the Tundra now. I think it'd be kind of fun. I mean, we tried the exotic planet, something that should be plentiful, and we had the hardest time finding resources. So, you know what? I'm gonna go back down to the Tundra planet and see what we can do. Where the fuck? What is going on here? Oh, okay. There's the planet. <laughs> All right, I really don't know what to look for here, so you know what? Let's just try somewhere where there's at least green. You know, I don't want just ice. You know, I'm kind of liking this. I'm assuming that's like clay or just at least rock. Uh, but I am going to look for one by the green. This is kind of good here, but it's all ice around it, unfortunately. All right, let's try right here. I'm feeling good. We got green to the right of us. We're going to land right on the brown, so at least we're not on ice. That's all I'm worried about is going to, like, where there's only ice, and then survival might be a little bit more difficult. But this might be cool. I'm kind of... Whoa! That's a spiky spot. What the fuck? What is going on with the ground here? What am I seeing? I don't know if I, I, don't know if I want to get out. I might fucking die. All right, let's just go check this out because I'm curious. Okay, it's just loading in. This is actually... A very, very pretty planet. I kind of like it. It might be more difficult. It might be a little bit more barren. But what the fuck? Like, the out of all the places we choose to land, it's right by the spikes. We got Hydrazine right beside us, though. We can refuel, at least. Looks like, um... That might be resin right there. Is that resin? Everything's still loading in. It's kind of weird. The way it loads in on this planet is really different. All right, this... I thought this was a resource. No, this is actually just uh, part of the ground. But we do have an unknown here. We also got... Looks to be a little cave. Oh, God. Not another storm. Come on! Why is there so many storms on every fucking planet? All right, just to be safe, let's go back. What the fuck is this? Oh. What the fuck? What is that? What? What is this thing? That is so cool looking. I want it. Okay, we're staying here just because of that ball. I have no idea what it is, but I'm really curious. All right, you know what, guys? I've been trying to bury all this stuff and make this ground doable, but as you can see, it's just not working. Like, for example, like I, it doesn't go away. That's the problem. If it went away, it might be a little easier, but when I try and bury it, you, you, you see what happens here. It, it's, not, it's, <laughs> it's not good here. So as much as I would like to stay, once again, we're at another little issue. But I do really want to bring this fucking ball with me. It actually lights up. So I don't know what this thing is. But I like it. All right, so unfortunately, there's a lot of good going on here, but a lot of bad as well. So we're going to get out of here, and I'm going to stick with the Tundra. We're going to check out a few more spots here, but I feel like, you know, I would definitely regret that being home over time. It looks really cool right now, uh, but the spikiness of that ground would did, would have just drove me nuts. And this is looking a little nicer. At least we have daytime. Look at this. Green beside us and everything. Now, my question is, what do we got around here? All right, we do have a node right beside our house of... I can't really tell yet. Uh, I actually still don't know. What the fuck is this? It's purple. That doesn't look familiar. Let's try and pick some up and... Oh! Oh, is this resin? Look at that! Right beside us? Yes, please. Okay. I'm liking the look of this more. It's a little bit more open. It's a little bit more pretty. There's not as much interesting things around, but we definitely know there's going to be some interesting stuff on this planet. So you know what? We're going to make a base here, at least for right now. So let's expand this thing out and finally settle down a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying not to rage right now, but it's pretty damn <laughs> difficult not to. Every fucking glitch in this game I seem to get. I love that this game is amazing, but the glitches are through the fucking roof. All right, so when I try and pull out my connector that builds the base, which we saw on the last land, it's not actually le actually letting me pull it out. So that means I can't set up a fucking base anywhere with this current shuttle. At least, you know what, maybe it works somewhere else. I have no idea. Right here, it's definitely not working, though. So I have really one option to do. We go back to my original base, the one that's actually set up, build another shuttle, and pray that that shuttle isn't fucking broken. So yeah, this is frustrating to say the least. I've used almost all my fuel, but uh, we should be able to get back to my original planet. Hopefully it can come in the frame here. If not, we're going to have a hard time. All right, it's slowly coming in. All the other planets have left me, so the only choice I have is this planet. I'm hoping I can actually get to it. I hate that you have to wait. So there we go. I'm just going to wait for it to get into range, and hopefully it will show my base 
on the actual planet like we did see before. So there we go. Going back to the ordinary planet. Oh my god, I can't believe. I can't believe the amount of issues I've been having in this damn game. I love it. I truly do. But the issues are rage-inducing to say the least. So, on this planet, there's our base right there. So thank god we can do it. We can go back and be happy. There we go. Let's go back down. I think I used all my fuel, so this is my only chance if my base isn't here for some reason. We're gonna have a bad time. I know I did two bases, so this kind of worries me. Thank God, we're back. But how am I gonna actually build while this thing's still on here? All right, I have one more idea. So now I can't really expand this because we have something in the way. So I have one more plan. If we trade for one count compound here, so I have a titanium on there, I get four compounds. I may as well just buy them all. I can make a beacon and land this somewhere else on the planet and then walk over to here. That's going to be way harder than it seems, though, because I basically need to make a tether system all the way over to this fucking place. All right, so I'm going to put all my resources here that I want to keep because we're going to go back here. My goal is to get back to this place and build another shuttle. So I'm just going to put it all around here. That way it doesn't blow away or despawn or anything. And let's grab one of these compounds and make a beacon. So we're going to make that beacon, put a beacon here, and hopefully when we go to a different part of the world, it will pop up. All right, there's our base. Now, if you see, there's one extremely close to it, so this shouldn't be too bad. I'm going just slightly to the right of it, and I'm hoping it's actually realistic here. We'll see if we can see it from the actual ground. I'm praying I can see that beacon. We can just walk over. Oh, my God. Are you fucking kidding me? I prepared for that? Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I mean, I shouldn't complain because this makes everything a little bit easier. So now I should be able to make a new shuttle. Let me actually see if I can expand this shuttle out. Again, I'm th pretty sure it's fucking broken. Yeah, I see you, can, you can't pull out the thing, which you usually can do to expand into a base. Now, I don't know if each shuttle has a, like a one-time use type thing, but I'm thinking it's just that it's glitched. So we gotta go back and build another shuttle. That's not a big issue, though. We should be able to do this pretty quickly. I mean, we have the base to do it really quickly. We can trade for everything, so it shouldn't be too bad. So this just needs a shitload of compound. All right, so I got enough to trade for at least one compound here. Again, I forget how unrare the resources are on this planet, but... We should be able to at least make the shuttle here. So there we go. We got the base. We just got to make the uh, actual seat now, and we can get the fuck out of here. I've also been making hydrazine throughout the day, just utilizing my power while I have it. So there we go. Let's feel this thing up a little bit here and get our second shuttle. Now, hopefully this one isn't fucking broken, because if this one is, I'm going to lose my mind. That's, that's a good sign. The fact that the connection can go in and I can expand it, that means I can make a base. So I am so excited about that, because I've been having nothing but issues here, and I just can't wait to not have any more issues. All right, get my solar panels and say sayonara once again. Now, at least we know now we got two shuttles that we can use. I guess that's a benefit. Not that one fucking works, but yeah. All right, so I'm thinking now that I can actually, let me just make sure you can see, I can actually disconnect it. So let's just do that just in case. Uh, we're going to get inside here and we're going to take off once again. So I've built a shuttle this episode, built a couple bases. I mean, this has just been fucking crazy. All right, I'm back at the Tundra Planet, and I'm just going to pick a random spot here. You know what? This looks good right here. We got a little bit of gas anyway, so if we want to go up again, we probably can. Uh, but yes, we're back. We got an actual working shuttle this time, at least I hope so. And let's see if we can find a good spot here. Now this is, uh, it's a, it's a little foresty here, but it's actually not too bad. Now there's actually not much around here, but what the hell? Look what I'm seeing over here. There's so many unknowns right beside us on these little, I don't know what they are. Are they plants or they're islands? I have no idea. There's also a cave system right beside us. So yeah, I'm kind of liking this spot. Feeling pretty good about it, so I think we're gonna make base here if we can. Oh, thank God, you can see the blue. We can actually freaking do it. So here we go, guys. We got another base once again. Oh, that's not a good sign. Well, we already set up base here. We don't got a choice. Let's put the resin in and make this thing. Okay, let's go back inside, actually. How about that? Let's be safe here. Well, I think pretty much any planet aside from the base planet is going to have a lot of storms. Uh, the further you go out into the system, the more difficult it becomes, I'm assuming. So yeah, we're just going to have to deal with this. That's no big deal, though. At least now, I think we're at a good spot to make a seriously good base. 
All right, that storm wasn't too bad. It didn't take too long, so that's good. All right, so before we expand this out, we need to expand this out once more so we can actually have a little bit of a hub here. I'm gonna use the resin to make that. Now we should have two resin left. Yes, we do, to make this platform. So now we can use this two resin to make a trade outpost and we can trade for some more resin if we do need it. So first of all, we got the printer. I want the trading outpost. Or the trade platform, I mean. Okay, and we got the aluminum to make this. So there we go. We got another trading platform. Now we don't have enough resin to build the fuel condenser, but we can trade for resin, so that's gonna be easy. But I hate to say this, guys, because we're basically back to where we left off. We're gonna end this one here, guys. It's uh, I edited the video. It's quite long already. Uh, I know it's not the most fun thing to watch trouble after trouble, but this is a survival game. That's kind of what it's about, and uh, you know what? I can't really make these episodes go my way. I just kind of gotta go with it and hope for the best. But now I'm feeling good about it. Hopefully I don't spawn in and this thing's underground again. I think it was because I played with the ground. I tried to terraform it a bit and that's really what happened. I'm liking the look of this place though. There's a lot of unknowns around here so hopefully we can research some good stuff and uh, yeah. Check out what the Tundra Planet has to offer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching and liking guys and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>